Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I want to show you how to draw Kong versus Mechagodzilla. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with Kong versus Mechagodzilla, we're going to begin with Kong. So I'm going to start with him up here, and we're going to begin with his face. I'm going to start right here. We're going to make a little line that's just going to go down and then up like a check mark. And I'm going to draw another one. It's just going to go down and then over here. Next, we're going to make a little line that's going to go down and up for the eye. And another one here. It's just going to go down and up. Starting here, we're going to make a little line that's just going to go up and down. And another one here. It's just going to go up and down. We're going to make a line that's going to go up and it's going to come down around there. And I'm going to draw another one right here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. And I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down on this side. Next, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to bring it down and we're going to come right up to here. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to come down like a sad face. We're going to go down, curve it around, and then come up to here. I'm going to draw some little teeth in here on the top and the bottom. And we're going to make lines going to go up and down, and another one right here. A little line here for the tongue. Starting here, I'm going to make lines going to go up. It's going to come over and down, and another one here. It's going to go over and then down. Starting here, we're going to draw a line. It's going to go out and then come in, and another one here. It's going to go out and then in. Starting here, we're going to make lines going to go up. We're going to bring it around, and we're going to come down to here. We're going to bring down a little farther. I'll add a kind of like a little oval shape for an ear. And I'm going to bring this line down. I'm going to make it a little kind of zigzag. We're going to make it down for kind of like his beard. Then we're going to go up and then over to here. We'll add a little ear shape over here too. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come down for the neck. And we'll do one over here on this side. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out and then down. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to go out here and it's going to start to come down. Next, I'm going to draw this line that's going to come down for his arm. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go over and then up. Draw one up here. Draw one more here. And then I'm just going to curve it over. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that comes up and a little line over. And I'm going to make another line that's going to come up. I'm going to draw a little line down. It's going to go over and then come up here for the little handle of his axe. Starting here, I'm going to add a little curved line for his hand. And then I'm going to draw this line. It's going to go up. It's going to come over and down. We'll connect it. I'm going to add some little points on here. Next right here, we're going to add some little points coming out of the back. And then we're going to make some bigger points coming out of here. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up. We're going to add a little line that's going to curve up here for his bicep. We're going to add a little curved line here. And we're going to make lines going to come down here for his chest. 
Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up here for this part of his chest. Right here, we're going to draw, draw a line that's going to go up and down for his other shoulder. Another line's going to come out here. And one more is going to go out a little farther, and then it's going to come down to here like a curve. We're going to bring this line for his chest up a little bit. And then we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down. Make a line that's going to curve around here for his bicep. And the line's going to come right up here and down. Starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out. It's going to come down like this. Another one's going to go down and over. One more here. And one more right here, and we're going to curve it around. I'm just going to connect this up to here. Now, right inside of here, we want to make Mechagodzilla's head, but I'm just going to kind of make a rough outline of it first, and we'll come in and add some details. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's going to come down at an angle. We're going to go down here. We want this to be kind of very pointy lines. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to bring it down and then over. I'm going to bring this up here. Make this come down and then over here. Then we'll go over like that. Draw line's going to go down, over, and up for the chin. We're going to go over and then up here. Draw line's going to go over. It's going to come down and then over like this. I'm going to draw a line that comes down here and a line that comes down here. A little line is going to come over here. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go over and then up. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to this axe and then it's just going to kind of curve over here. For his body. We'll add another little curved line here. And we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and then up over here for his leg. Draw a line that's going to go down a little bit. Make a line that's going to go down and over here for his toe. Another one's going to go down and then kind of come around here. We'll come back up. Make a line that's going to go down, it's going to come around. And we're going to draw a line that's going to go up. And another one's going to come up to here. Then starting over here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up. We'll bring it up here a little bit. Draw a line that's going to come down. This line's going to go down and around. And another one's going to come down and up. And another one down and up here. And we'll draw one more there. I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then over. Kind of like he's got Mechagodzilla in a uh, chokehold. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go over and then come down. Draw a little line that's going to go over and then down, kind of like a L shape. Another line here. And I'm going to go up, over, and then come back. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down here. I'm going to go over and then over like this. And I'm going to come back up and then over this way for like the leg of Mechagodzilla. 
The blind's going to go down, over, and then we'll come around here. Now I'm just going to draw a little line. We'll move this up a little bit. Make a little line that's just going to go down. It's going to go over and up. The little line's going to go over and then up here. Make a line's going to go down, over, and then up. The line's going to go down, over, up. And we're just going to come right around here. It's kind of a crazy shape. Draw line's going to go down. It's going to come down at an angle and then back up. We're going to make line's going to go down. It's going to come around and up for a toe. We'll do another one here. Little line that goes down and over and then one more back there. Now, over here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come down on each end. And I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and down on each end. We'll connect these for like a long skinny rectangle. And then we're going to come out here and connect these to kind of make the arm. Then I'm just going to draw a nice line down here to connect. Okay, so we kind of have our basic, basic layout right now of kind of Kong going after Mechagodzilla. Now we just want to come in here and add some of the different details. Now, coming up here, let's kind of work on this hand. I'm going to begin by making two little lines that are going to come up with a little curve in between them. I'm going to make a little rectangle shape here, and then a little rectangle shape here. And I'm going to go a little faster through some of these parts just so we don't end up with a 45 minute video trying to get every single little Mechagodzilla detail. We'll draw another little rectangle on each side here. And then to make these 3D, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down and we're just going to redraw that same shape there, kind of give them that three dimensional claw. We'll just draw a little line over here. And we'll make another little line kind of out here just to show where his other claws are. Make a little line in there too. Then we'll just kind of add some extra little kind of rectangular shapes on here for some more details. Now let's work on the face over here. I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to go over. It's going to come down and then connect to there. I'm going to make some little rectangle shapes right there for the teeth. And I'll do the same thing on the bottom here. We'll make a couple pop up over there. I'm going to add a couple little curved lines in here. And I'm going to add some little curved lines going this way, some lines going down to kind of show some more details in his mouth. I'm going to add two little lines here to show some little extra details on his face. I'm going to make a line that's going to go over and then up to here and a line down. So you can see I just went over, up, and then just went down. Put another little kind of square shape on the front. I'm going to make a line that's going to go up. It's going to come at an angle and then it's going to come back down. Little line comes across. We're gonna make a little line that's gonna go around and up. Kind of show the space for his eye. Another one here. And then we're just gonna add a little oval shape in here for his eye. Then for the jaw part, you can just add some extra little lines in here, kind of all around, just for some little details. Little line's gonna go down and over. A little line down and up and over. And just some little details to make his face look a little more geometric. We'll add a little line over here too. And then right up here I'm going to add a little line that's going to come down for Kong's body. So 
Starting over here, I'm gonna draw a line. It's gonna go up and then connect to here. And I'm just gonna kind of repeat some of these shapes right there. Little line that comes down. Make a little line that goes over and up for part of this chest. And we'll make some long kind of curved rectangular shapes that are gonna come up. Almost kind of like ribs on his body. Make a couple little kind of rectangular square shapes over here for parts of the shoulder. Maybe a couple little geometric shapes popping up. I'm gonna add a long line that's gonna go down and up. And we'll add another one right around it. We'll add a line that's gonna go over and up. The line down and then some more lines coming through here. We'll do a line over here with a couple more lines coming through. I'm gonna make some rectangular shapes back here. And we'll add two little lines that are gonna go down with a little third line over here. Make a line that's gonna go over, up, over, and up. Do the same thing here, over, up, over, and then up. I'll add a couple little extra lines in here too. Over here, we're going to make lines going to go up and over. And I'm going to put a couple little circle shapes over here, with another little curve inside of them to make them look 3D. Make a little kind of like squared shape over here. And we're just going to make some line like these V shape lines down here for some details. Do some lines up here, a couple little extra lines with some lines going around. Make a line that goes down. It's going to go down an angle, down here, and then over. And we'll just kind of repeat that shape over here. A couple little lines coming down, a few lines going across. We'll add a couple more little circle shapes with another curved line next to them. And some more little rectangle shapes down here. We'll add a couple more little lines going across and down. I'm going to add another toe over here and another one that goes out and back. We'll add a little line that comes down on here. And I'm going to make just some couple little lines that go up and over on here just to make some toes. A couple little more rectangle shapes in here. Then back here, I'm going to add some lines to go up, over, and down for his spikes. We're just going to make these go up, over, and then down. Make them come over here too. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to come up, and it's going to go over to here. I'm going to make it go straight up, and then I'm going to bring it right back to the axe. And we're going to go right to here for the tail. We'll add a couple little lines right here at the end. Make a line that goes down and we're gonna curve it and then bring it back to here for that like point at the end. Then I'm just gonna make some more of these kind of like squared off rectangular shapes for the tail. We're just gonna do these all around here. We'll add another little line right down the middle and I'm just going to add these curved lines that come through here. Then I'm just going to go and add some little squares on each one. I'm also going to add a second set of spikes right across the back here too. We'll add another one or two up here. We might add just a couple little extra details on Mechagodzilla's head. So here's our basic. So we got our Mechagodzilla down. We got some of our details in there. Let's kind of finish up with Kong over here. I'm gonna add a couple little lines right around his eyes and some lines right around his mouth here. Give him some lips. 
Gonna add some little broken lines right around his chest. Maybe a little line or two down here. Line right there. We'll add a few more extra lines in here for some details. Make a few more lines by the eyes. I'm gonna add a couple lines on the fingers and everything for some hands or for some, uh, like the knuckles. We can do the same thing on the feet as well. Make a couple little curved lines for some toes. I'm gonna come in here and just add some quick little lines and a few spots just to kind of add some fur. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We'll do more of these when we actually like color and everything, but just gonna get a few little lines in here for some texture and detail. And then that is basically it. You can always come in here with Mechagodzilla and start adding even more details. He's got so many different things on him. It's kind of hard to get every single one. It's almost impossible. But go feel free to go ahead and try. You can always add extra little details onto here. You know, might want to add a couple of extra things onto the spikes and whatnot. There's so many things you can do. And I just don't want this video to be crazy, crazy long. We can add some details onto Kong's axe up here. Some little broken lines down here. But there you go. There is your drawing of Kong versus Mechagodzilla from one of the scenes of the new Godzilla versus Kong movie that is actually now on Blu-ray and DVD. So if you haven't got picked up your copy yet, make sure you do. I definitely have my copy already. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.